Hi, everyone. This is about the Excalibur Institute. It's about our vision, our mission, and what we offer. First, Excalibur was a sword conceived by and empowered by powerful women. It was forged by strong men. As a result, Excalibur guaranteed success to its owner. However, the quality of that success reflected the character and integrity of the owner. That is why we call what we offer the Excalibur Institute. So what's our vision? Let me just give you a screen share so you get an actual picture of it. It's to ground healthy spirituality into the physical world. That's our vision. Sounds, yeah, whatever, but let me take you on a journey into what that really means in the physical world today. All human beings, including you and me, the world and how we do business are going through unprecedented changes now. We in our world will change profoundly now, in the next few years, and over our lifetime. We have just begun. That change will revolve around each person, no matter what their circumstances, realizing how unique, powerful, and strong they are. That will involve developing character, true character, healthy character, and then collaborating together. Now, the current dilemma in the corporate world is summarized by an excerpt from a novel I wrote, an epic transformational novel called Dawn of the Darkness. And these are the thoughts of a guy who's a, one of the bad guys, but going through a major change in realizing what's going on. Now, I'm not saying the corporate world is the bad guy. I'm just saying this is a guy who just dealt with the realities of living in a survival-based world in a very intense way. So what did he want from Adrian? His wish list exploded. His wish list exploded out in front of him and then condensed. He began to see the possibilities that had been invisible before. He saw he could become what he always longed to be, something more, something grand, something else. He was tired of being who he had been. It was hard work. There must be something else. What could he take from Adrian that would bring him satisfaction? He could suddenly see he needed a satisfaction greater than the pain, longing, and crushing love were giving him. All that felt boring. If I'm going to take, I will take what I really want, he found himself thinking. What is it that I really want? That summarizes where we're at right now our mission at the Excalibur Institute. Well, we get all these questions that are asked. How will you achieve your vision? This is typical business speak and it's good value. How will you achieve your vis vision? What are the steps involved? How does creating consciousness work? Because there's this trend towards conscious everything, conscious business, conscious leadership, you name it. Well, my father used to say, there's no substitute for experience. And I've had 73 years of literally that when it comes to consciousness. So here are the steps involved. Step one, 
we're going to build a solid foundation in the physical world. And that's going to involve the Lomsuk community. Lomsuk is in Thailand, in Pechabun province. The community, organic farms, and a retreat that is going to be built by the Thai people. It's not going to be Westerners going in there doing their thing. It's going to be built by the Thai people from sufficiency, what they would build when they have sufficiency, as Buckminster Fuller called it. Step two, establish the Excalibur Institute base in Bang Sarai, which is in Thailand as well, south of Pattaya. Why? Because being the founder of the Excalibur Institute with Amy Falcon, I need calm and a relaxed creative environment to produce my best work. That's something human design taught me and it's reflected in everything that I've done in my 73 years of being alive. We want, this is a reflection of what we call customization. Every person as an individual is going to be treated as an individual. No one size fits all approach or a test that puts you in a certain group. No, this is going to be customized to you. And in Bangsaray, they have literally world-class internet. I think it's third best in the world. So our work can literally go global. Step three. Now, step three, four, and five are also offers. This is what we offer. Step three is my books that I'm going to publish in 2022 to 2024. All of these, the first, the first draft has been done. In fact, several of them have been published previously, but they'll be brought right up to date. The overall title for these books is going to be The Basics of the Emerging New Reality. There's going to be one on working with numbers called action, attraction, integration. Two that come out of astrology, but in a sense move beyond it. Well, not beyond it, but take it to a new level. One, turn our differences into assets. Two, moving forward. How does each individual understand what their direction in life is? Business. Business fusion is the title of the book. That's a whole new world. Human design, mastering your design. So you know how you're designed to operate in the physical world in the way that brings out the best in you. The new reality. One's called two, the two paradigms. How the new reality works way better than the old reality. And the second book is called Power and Strength, their true nature. They're not the same. Third, powerful women, strong men. Fourth book, cultivating true character. Fifth book, the power of your imagination. Now, this is going to take imagination way beyond anything we've done till now. We'll talk about that in the book. And finally, a book that's in the category of the power of imagination, but it's an epic transformational novel that I've already written called Dawn of the Darkness. That's ready to be published. We just need the right people to put that all together. Step four, again, offers videos, webinars, seminar tours and films, both documentary and fictional, based on the above books and titles. The headline programs are going to be Cultivating Character and Powerful Women, Strong Men. And I included today the two paradigms because people really need to see now, the new reality, as Buckminster Fuller would say, works way better than the old one. This isn't a woo-woo jump. 
this is, we're going this way, we're going through all these changes because the new reality works way better and brings far better results from our human potential. As I've often said, the greatest waste of resources in this world is the waste of human potential. Step five, this is again offers. Working with individuals, you might call it coaching, consulting, whatever you want to call it, working with individuals, relationships, living, you know, relationships that are really working together, say, you know, in all sorts, in communities and businesses and whatever, teams, businesses, like corporate work, small, medium businesses, even corporations, communities, and beyond that, in establishing the new reality as a way better option than the old one. Now, you might ask, you know, well, what about this? How does creating consciousness work? Let me make this clear. We don't create consciousness. Consciousness is available everywhere inside us and outside us. As you open up to being more conscious, as each of us open up to being more conscious, that allows us to create more elegantly. It's the beauty of consciousness. In other words, greater, it's the, it's not only, consciousness is not only the true wealth, it's the ultimate form of leverage. Every person and every system needs to be more conscious to work more elegantly. Maximum result for minimum effort. Now, step six and seven are open at the moment. There's room to grow and evolve. These steps in any process of seven components, they're connected to steps one and two which was the farm, the retreat, and the, Bunga, and the Excalibur Institute basis in Thailand. This is where, in steps six and seven, the true value of grounding healthy spirituality into the physical world will show up as a new reality that works way better than the old one. It's in these steps that we discover our true meaning and potential as individuals, as human beings, and as humanity. So there's a lot there, and I'll wrap it up now because this is meant to be a short, concise summary. But I welcome you to go back over this again, take it in, and see if this calls to you in your heart, because this is our work in this world at the Excalibur Institute. And if it does call to you in a way that's meaningful, not as an interest, but as a, something you're truly passionate about and willing to take responsibility for and commit to, then contact us. Talk to you soon.